Hey what's up guys welcome back to another brand new video today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can fix every single problem in GeForce Now with this one single guide. Now I've been making that previously and I've been getting a lot of good responses that people are saying that it works so um this month GeForce Now has released a lot of options that you can um, go and change in and get the best out of it so guys just make sure to follow this video till the end I hope it helps you let's begin so first of all what you have to do is just open up your GeForce Now and make sure that it's updated if it's not updated then I guess um, it will show you a notification right in the top right here it says reboot or update now or what you can do is just go to settings and search for the updates well again um, as you guys can see right now here are only a few options but you can enable one more option that I'll be showing right ahead but first of all let us get into the settings right here alright so first of all um, they have added the game sync over here so if you don't know what it is um, you can just go into the update notes or patch notes and you can check out what the game sync is but now um, for the server location um, first of all what you have to do is just run a speed test on your internet um, so mine is right here let me just perform a speed test really quick alright so as you guys can see I'm getting 117 download and 126 upload with a 3 ping now over here you can just close this thing and come to the server location and check which uh, is the nearest server to you for me I live in Asia so Europe is the nearest for me um, so we're going with Europe Northwest or you can go for Europe West or the Centrals um, basically but I'll keep it on auto because you know um, it helps a lot so um, I'll just be keeping it on auto so any single problem it will sort it out automatically now going down over here from balance you have to go to custom and over here just go and for the max bitrate make it down to custom and if you get a low uh, internet connection then you have to reduce it respectively and if you have a high internet connection you can increase it accordingly for me if I have 100 mbps speed I can choose 50 mbps but if you have 50 mbps just keep it 15 mbps lower to it now if you anyways have 10 mbps or lower than 5 mbps well you should have definitely get a better internet connection again for the resolution just turn it down to 1280 by 720 and again i'll give you a good life hack for it and for the frame resolution um uh, for the frame rate you can just drop it down to 30 or 60 as per your, as your convenience now make sure to disable vsync and adjust for poor internet connections uh, as the uh, this thing will give you the stutter and blurry screen Again, uh, you have to turn on the Discord Rich Presence and that should be done for the in-app settings. Now I'll be telling you guys how you can go and edit the main settings. Alright, first of all what you have to do is search in GeForce Now and open file location for your GeForce Now. Okay, what you have to do is just open file location, right click and open the file location. Alright, once you are here, what you have to do is just search for GeForce Now Streamer or JSON. For some reason, if you don't find it, just go to View Panel and then make sure that the hidden items is checked. Now, what you have to do is right click on it and go to Properties and make sure it's not read only or hidden. Okay. Now, right click and hit Edit. Now, over here, there are a few things that you need to search for. Um, first thing is the NVSDL VSync. You have to turn it down. To false NVSDLIOHID configurable, you have to turn it to true. Then HDPI, you have to turn it to true. And for the def window size, you have to go for 1920 1080. If you have a 1080p resolution, if you have a 720p resolution, you have to go for 1280 by 720 and make sure that you separate it with a comma, not with an X. Alright, now um, going all the way down and over here, you have NV Startup Auto Update. Make sure that you have it on true. Alright, now that's all for it. Uh, you just hit Control S and then just close the file. Now what you have to do is just restart your NVIDIA GeForce Now. I'm just going to close it and I'm going to start it with GeForce Now right here.
all right now what you will see over here is there's a dark mouse input you, ha you can just turn this thing on so that will encounter any mouse delay error so you can move your mouse more freely now guys if this video helps you out make sure to do leave a like hit the subscribe button and put on the notification bell because i'll be making more of these videos so yep we'll meet you guys in another video till then stay tuned keep watching Marafox and peace off